gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We have not missed an episode. We almost were going to miss, but uh, we're here live in Corpus Christi. Well, we're at Javi Luna Studios right now. What is the name you know of your I'm studio? I'm saying the, the Luna, Luna Universal Studios, baby. Yeah, yeah, Luna Universal we, Studios. We, we, got, we got the sharks jumping out of the out of the water and i had to sign a release form yeah, like, yeah. dude the, the the security at the gate is worse than <laughs> yeah you had to come to the back lot yeah the back lot the back yeah, lot yeah. Of yeah, they were Studios, filming man. animation films on one side <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah we're in my house man i got i got i got the kids you know i was yelling at them right now hey, like, hey, 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 hey chingo's coming over yeah, tio, tio chingo gotta there. do a 30 you minute know, dude, you He's know a little hungover you know, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, they're good. I I got up and got them some tacos and everything. They're fed, so I was like, yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all chill over there. This is how we do it. This this is how we do it in the in the bottom rungs of comedy, man. I got I got a podcast studio in the corner of the living room. Hey, man, it's a, it's a beautiful Sunday, brother. Thank you for uh, accommodating and thank you for five killer shows in Corpus Christi. As y'all can hear in my voice, like, yeah, we were. I mean. Rocking and rolling. Uh, shout out to the tequila sponsor. We got a tequila sponsor now, big dog. Pie, pie tequila. Yeah. If you don't know calculus, homie, you don't know pie, carnal. You know what I'm saying? 3.147. Yeah. 8309. Yeah. Uh, alcohol alcohol that. per, per <laughs> volume. <Nah. laughs> no, no, that was that was uh, that was Jenny's phone number from Jesse's girl. <laughs> Jesse's girl. <laughs> we got Juan Perez in the building, Mr. Uh, What's uh, up? He got the C4s. He's double fisting C4s, aka two cans. <laughs> one, two one, cans one, same. one found his soulmate in Corpus, bro. Oh, that's kind of hell. Nah, you thought I wasn't gonna bring it up. I, well, I didn't say she was my soulmate. She said she was my soulmate. Oh, his, she, soul, his soulmate found I, him. I was setting up merch, and and I got off stage, and and Chingo was on stage. He's like, "Oh my God, you're right here. You're you're here. Oh wow, I was now looking you're here. for you. You're up and there. I was like, what? Now you're here. And, and I was like, okay. And she's like, Hey, I just want to let you know, you're my soulmate. I I, I heard your I heard your set. It, you're my soulmate. And I was like. Wait, wait, what do you mean by, oh, what are you talking about? You know, you know your cousin and, you know, my, my ex, you know, uh-huh. like, I was like, my cousin with your, uh-huh. no, 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 like my cousin, or your cousin did it to you, yeah. and then mine was, uh, mine, what, uh, mine was a foreclosure person that he cheated on me with, and I was like, a foreclosure know, person, was, therefore yeah, y'all sell me, like, sell me. They, like they were getting foreclosed yeah, on, so, and then she's like, yeah, they just, <laughs> they match, it, it, it makes sense, and I was like, Hey, oh, long, okay. long story short, she took a picture with him and she put it on her Facebook. Uh-huh. And then she's like, "Me and Juan's engagement photo." Yeah. And then the people in the comments are like, "Oh my god, congratulations!" Yeah, congrats. <laughs> and then she's know. like, "She's like, I wish he's a badass comedian." Hey, bro, she was pretty, bro. bro I, I, I fucking, I, I mean, looked at that and I, and all I was selling Chingo right now earlier, and I was like, "Dude, I bet you if anybody sees that from my family, they're gonna be like." He's at it again. He's getting at married again. again. They, they're not going to put it past me. Cause, like, hey, they're going to blame me. <laughs> they're going to blame me. Hey, they, 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 I'm not going to chingo yeah, bling. And... married again. Third time's a charm, fool. But, hey, but, <laughs> hey, but they be, hey, but, uh, but like, she, she was a, a gavata, right? A white lady? Yeah, blonde? She's blonde. She's blonde. Okay, one. Hey, I'm telling you, hey, bro, when, on the cover. hey, when we get back to the studio, we got to do Olympia, bro. We got to you know like, saying? you got too much energy, big dog. Too many she, viejas. She she looked like a nurse, bro. Like she she gave me she was giving me in that picture she was giving me nurse energy, bro. Nurse vibes. She, that, yeah, she definitely had some nurse vibes going on. And they're, and they're wild, bro. Dude, that's a trifecta, bro. She she she's a nurse. A divorce. She's a divorcee. She just got divorced, bro. A trifecta, bro. The the. And, yeah, divorcees are. <coughs> it's a different I, breed. I, shit, a man can live off of bread, water, and divorcees, man. Oh, uh-huh. what did you, know you tell me? What did you tell me after? Well, Javi, I told Javi oh. this right off stage while Chico was uh-huh. on stage, and he would you tell him? Shit, when I when I when I when I went through my single phase, <laughs> shit, di- divorcees were my fortes. You know what I'm saying? Like, Javi was dropping. They, they're just on ready. They're just out the there, stage. man. They've been in the house for however many years they were married, and they're they're ready to. Get out there and have a good time. And, and get their Long claws story. out. Get their claws into something. You know what I'm Holly saying? Holly is a bad influence because I, mean, I showed her the picture. He goes, into something. Juan, you might want to lock that down, dog. I mean, at, at least for the <laughs> night, man. Listen, they've been in a bad marriage. They've been, they've been, they've been done wrong. You know what I'm saying? And you, the man, say, "Let me treat you right for the night." You yeah, know what I'm saying? Right for the night. Hey, all the, everything Javi's saying is Biggie lyrics. He's like, "Before <laughs> says was my forte." <laughs> <laughs> So when the wind blows, I get my polos and don't they? It was Julio and Jose. That's my primo. Don't play. 
take a big old joke to, to Hobby. Hobby's well, just like, man, I just, I just dropped a track I want. I'm not trying to be a bad influence. I'm just saying you're like the only, you're the only single guy on the tour right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, like we gotta live vicariously. Hey, we can have through you, you bro. Mighty Soul's gonna be like, who was doing the clicker? I'll be like, Juan's chick, <laughs> Juan, Juan, Juan's Juan, fiance. Juan. She's yeah. out there, click, click, How many click, clickers click, in each click, town. Click, and she do merch, bro. Mighty Soul says she need clickers in each right. town. We need clickers, and we're gonna need business ladies in each town. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, need, we need to start street like the old days, the street team. I thought the way. Know, <laughs> In each town. Bro. If we got any hookups for like air flights like, and stuff like that, what's up, you know? Bro, we were we did two shows last night. Then we had to go to the studio. And um, you know how I got, I had that joke. I retired it. But I had the joke, which was about like me being an OG, trying to navigate, dealing with younger uh-huh. generation artists. And it's like, you know, the, the pill popping and the lyrics and this and that. The, confu- the loss in translation, right? Right. But really... I was living the reality of the joke last night, which was more so, I feel like Tom and Jerry, when he put toothpicks in his eyes and his eyes are like, uh, like red. Yeah. Almost like, I, I don't, I'm really, I'm tired. Like I, I'm, I got nothing. I was surprised when you said you were going. It, it, I didn't like necessarily like want to go, yeah. but here's the thing. Uh, obviously shout out to my boy Dusty, man. I haven't seen him in a while. Super legit studio, downtown Corpus. And then, um, things, and man. then his boys got a super viral hit. The, uh, sh- 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 Shout out to Gold Soul. Uh, the mm-hmm. other cat, uh, Jacob, your favorite ex-boyfriend is his name. He, <laughs> he's out there in Cali right now doing it up. But uh, but we kicked it with Gold Soul. We started a track. And then Mexican OT, he's popping right now, too. He showed up. Uh, next thing you know, man, he's got his shirt off. He's doing the whole arts and crafts blunt situation. He's, like, dipping it in water. Or and, and, and shit. And he's, like, freestyling. I was like, oh, this motherfucker went to prison. He's he been locked up He was up dipping before. it in water. You sure? sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. Right, 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 right. Water, water. <laughs> so, like, blood and blood out. Dip three times so you can hump all night. Yeah. <laughs> it looked like a shape, dog. Like, that's the shape it was in. The way it looked, it looked crazy. Yeah, wow. it was like... Wow. big-ass blood. It was literally, like... Dog. So, the joke really, was, it needs to be, you know, if I'm, I'll retire the joke, but really what it needed to be was, like, which is what I experienced last night, which is just like, dog, I, I was just looking around like, man, y'all got a pillow or something right here. So I'm taking I was that. just dragging, dog. Yeah, I haven't been there since they, they redid it uh, like about a year or so ago, like or expanded. I mean, I don't, I don't know how many buildings. Yeah, they got uh, a bunch of stuff down there. down there. They got yeah. a convenience store. He just uh, started a bar the, like next a, door. Yeah, they got a, like a dispensary down there. Really? Also, like, like a CBD. Did Luna? No, no, Bella Luna's still oh, still down there. That's the next block over. Oh, okay. Yeah, but he got a CBD thing too. Yeah, or a partner, or his, or mm-hmm. someone, someone's using some space in there, or, or okay, whatever. probably renting it out. To yeah, them yeah, they, 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 you know. Interesting. Uh, yeah, man. No, the hustle has a different vibe. He's, he's got a couple of guys that do like a podcast, like a lo-fi podcast. Yeah, they got a whole there, podcast room. There. I snapped some pictures of it, so if y'all want to go to Facebook, it's on it's on Facebook. Yeah, it's the called uh, so. Produce. Looks dope. Produce, yeah, is, produce the, yeah. is the name of the. Produce, yeah, whole yeah, it's just like a like an artist uh, commune. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm looking around, I'm like, bro, you paying all these people? Like, what's going on? But you can just tell, like, man, they just collaborating and working, and. Uh, you know, they decorate, him and his wife decorate real nice. Uh, they're uh-huh. like Japanese hipsters. Yeah. Where it's like, you you be right there in downtown Corpus and you be thinking like, am I in Tokyo? Hey, man, it's amazing what you can get done with no kids, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I was they they got the dogs. <laughs> yeah. I was on Chingo. It was crazy because I got to see the other side of like the rap, like the rap game and how they do it. And uh-huh. I was like, oh shit, the creative process from it's standard different. comedy is it's so different. much wilder it's like so different it's, like, it's different and it's, oh, wow. it's funny it's like when they different energy and everything it's like holy shit this is crazy yeah. i didn't realize the difference so i saw it and i was like oh fuck the part that i love it, it's funny as weird it is because i've gone with you over to dusty spot mm-hmm. before you always try to stop stop in there if you can when, when you come through town so when we used to do the downtown shows it was right oh, yeah, around yeah. the corner, from, corner from there yeah. so we'd go over there you know and they'd be out there you know with, with their paper bag you, you know, just a bunch there's the artists and then there's like just some some young kids out there just hanging out just trying to catch catch the vibes yeah. someone's getting tattooed in Creative. the back no like, they're like they're yeah, like fashion yeah. forward artsy yeah uh it's like you don't know if you're in nashville you don't know if you're in austin yeah. you don't know if you're in hollywood and super creative and that's how them them kids I call them kids, right? They probably do like grown ass yeah, men, yeah, but yeah. that's when they came up with that shh, 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 uh-huh. shh, shh, that shit, that shit, dude. They did an SNL skit last night. Like we're all there hanging out, and they're all like, "Oh shit, SNL just did some shit on uh, on uh, Gold Soul right here with this." Like shh, shh. they did like yeah. a whole fucking skit, 
And it's like, oh, damn. So it's cool to like meet the youngsters that are coming up, like Mexican OT. Yeah. He, all his music videos are getting like millions of views, yeah. uh, Gold Soul and and King is in there like the like the mom from from Mean Girls. Y'all keep y'all keep me young. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, but it feels like it. Like you catch it. Yeah, I was trying to give him some game, and then. On the drive back to the ranch, we were uh, staying with the, uh, our peeps, the Villarreal's, uh-huh. and uh, we were just talking. Stone. Yeah, we're out there in Yellowstone, Dutton Ranch. No, we, uh, we were talking in the car. I'm trying to keep Juan awake. And uh, we got to talking about the Brown and Proud song I did. Uh-huh. And uh, how did that come up? Well, because I, I, cause we were talking about uh, Mexican OT, and I was like, dude, he just has a different... Because he has a different <clears throat> style of like his creative process. So... He, like, he'll do some stuff that I was like, why was, did he yeah. do that, dog? And he's like, and Chino was like, I don't know. That's a little strange even for me. Like, the way he set up the Everybody way he has different methods. So he, so he was breaking it down. Okay. And I go, huh, okay. And then he's like, and then Chino started breaking down, like, some raps and stuff. And then I go, oh, like, kind of like kind of like your, uh, your, your Brown and Proud song. And he's like, well, this is a story on that. Like, the substance came with that because it was almost like a dare. And he started breaking it down. And I was like, bro, <clears throat> that's a podcast in and of itself just to break down. Like each <clears throat> song that you've done, and just like the yeah. story behind the verses and stuff. I mean, I could I could tell a little bit of that combo. Behind so, the bling, bro, bro. When he was breaking it down, I was like, well, I'll break it down right now. I'll, I'll give y'all a quick version. Great. So basically, um, <clears throat> I was just saying like, <clears throat> like sometimes uh, an artist, sometimes we say stuff with well, the rappers. Sometimes we say stuff because it's like fly, it rhymes, you know, it makes you look like a badass or it's funny or raunchy like there's different things right and it's like okay well how's that lyric gonna work when your kids hear it how's that lyric gonna work like how is someone gonna interpret that lyric five years from now Mm -hmm. ten years from now how is that gonna affect someone's life because it's almost like you have a responsibility in a way because the stuff you're recording it's gonna live forever yeah and someone's gonna either like uh i liked it but it was just some silly stuff in there so anyway, I was I was hearing in the streets mm-hmm. at the time about me that like, oh, we get it. This dude, he's just going to sprinkle some Spanish, do some kind of funny punchline mm-hmm. and like, like almost like we get it. We understand. We got you figured out mm-hmm. almost like there's no substance. Right. So I was like, all right, I'm going to give you some substance. So uh, I was in L.A. at the time and um, I knew I wanted to have some kind of buzz when I recorded that because I just knew I had to kind of challenge myself to really be patient, dig deep and mm-hmm. don't don't just say the first fly funny thing that's raunchy, right? Right. So I sat there. I had some bucanas and pineapple. That was my jam at the time. You know, I was young and ratchet. It was very yeah. paisa. Very paisa type of... It's like Buchanan's. It's like some kind of scotch whiskey. And the, the raza loves it, raza. But anyway, uh, I recorded that in L.A. And I knew that... Um, I, knew, I, I knew this was the beat that I was like, okay, it's got that little guitar thing. Okay, this is going to be the one. And I knew I wanted the hook to be like, say it loud, say it loud, say it loud, say it loud. Yeah, I'm brown and I'm proud. You know, I remember daddy told me, say it loud, say it loud. You know, and so on, I remember mama told me. And then I had to knock out the verses. So I'm like, all right, <clears throat> let me make sure I dig deep, throw some cultural references and and say something that's uh, not just your typical, like, you know, I slapped her on the night, I was like, no, 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 you know what I mean? It's like, calmate, wey. <laughs> <laughs> and then I when I pull up, I'm you know, baby clock, you know. You know, this is your ch- uh, change is gonna come. You know, like, yeah, yeah, this yeah. Is, this is this, that it was gonna be your cultural. Yeah, this uh, is my uh, Brenda's got a baby. You That's know what I'm saying? <laughs> Chingo went deep. Yeah. Uh, Ch- Chingo's mobilizing the the last side. Yeah, because dude, there was there was a line in there I was afraid to say because it gets into street politics. But I was like, uh, uh, I know I'm just a dreamer. Let me. How does it go? Um. And one thing that Chingo really wish is that North and South Cali get together with that banging shit. No, I'm just a dreamer, but let me dream. I said, so Chavez, that's a brown Martin Luther King. Dang. You know what I mean? Basically saying like, hold on, bro. You ain't even from over here. Like, do you, you know what? About, yeah. yeah, this has to do with like prison politics, like a lot of really heavy stuff that you probably shouldn't even be commenting on. Right. But I was like, in the context of this, you know I know I'm just a dreamer, but let me dream. Yeah. You know. Anyway. I get it. Yeah, shit, we are the world, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's black, it's white. <laughs> if y'all not watching this on YouTube, you missed the 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 choreography right here. Ding 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 ding. Javi. 
They should have had Javi as a Michael Jackson <laughs> backup dancer. Javi was yeah. all the way up into his shit. <clears throat> shit. Look. Was on that. Yo, yeah, we, got, we got a hook of Javi with the Manscaped 4.0, the package. Uh, you know we sponsored by Manscaped, Big Dog. No. So we got to we gotta put in the word, man. We got to uh, rob, order another... Mm -hmm. Package kit yes, for Javi. Uh, now it's not for your beard, brother. I Sunday see you morning. touching your beard. Sunday you know? morning. It's, it's, it's not for beard. the beard. Yeah, the so beard. Let's get you, get your oh, situation. Okay. It's the other beard, though. Uh, but anyway, manscaped.com. Valentine's, Valentine's Day coming up. That's yeah, what it that's is, what bro. You got to get the muffler so, right. Surprise her with the, with the <laughs> fresh mow. You know what I'm saying? You, know you, you trim saying? the hedges, make the tree look a little bit. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Trim the hedges, nice. make the tree taller, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, order it right now, manscaped.com. Promo code CHINGO. <clears throat> and you're going to save you Valentine's some money. Day. Get it before Valentine's Day. Uh, I forget if you save 10% or 20%. I think it's you save 20%. But use promo code CHINGO no. when you check out. And we appreciate Manscaped backing up all the yeah. podcasts. Only, only on the supplements. Concept. Only yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't do the, nothing the, the for you. The steel maces and the kettlebells. I can't do nothing for you on, 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 on the kettlebells and the whips and the whatever you you you, you want. Fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the momo, like a momo in the garage. You love, love me some Uncle Joey, man. Dude, um, I was so beat yesterday. It was like the longest day. I I got my butt whooped. Jujitsu class was intense. You too. Well, I did the private lesson yeah. on uh, Friday, and then I did the class on Saturday, and that was it's very regimented. Yeah. Because at a uh, Gracie Baja in Cal Island, it's not a huge, huge gym, but uh -huh. it's a lot of people, and we have to work with that mat space. So, uh, Professor uh, Arnold was like, you it's know, quick. everybody line up, you know, one and a two and a three. So you just like it was like boot camp. Yeah. And then the gauntlet sparring, so I was just like beat and then we did the shows and mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying some somebody chocolate had shrooms in it mm -hmm. yeah. and then people want to buy me shots and you know i got a little aggravated on the second show you know? <laughs> started over a couple times you know? <laughs> <laughs> almost went into a loop i thought i forgot <laughs> to do the cheers yeah yeah no it was just it was just one part me and Javi were laughing loud he's in a loop did he just start the show over <laughs> <laughs> he's looping <laughs> <laughs> He's looping. But yeah, you thought you hadn't done man, the Car Man, man, Corvus, so good to be back, man. I ain't seen y'all, man. So good to be back. Y'all look time. good tonight. Y'all look like, good. <laughs> Give it up for yourself. Time I looked up like, oh, <laughs> It's like he's 45 minutes in. Y'all look, look good tonight, man. Give it up for yourself. Like, I, I just pulled up in the yellow submarine. Yeah. yeah shout out to the train center, man. I had to borrow the submarine for y'all, man. I was like, what? <laughs> Homeboy, he put me in there, strapped me in, and he's like, shh, 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 and give it a kick. Yeah. I, I I wasn't gonna start over. I literally like looked no, over at the tequila but, bottle. But, but we and Wild were sitting there like because we were. I think you had already gone and set up merch or something, Wild, and we were like, he just like because I was like something's off. I was like, oh, yeah. I'm a. I looked over at the, at the shout out to Pie Tequila uh -huh. for the sponsor, and then people kept buying me shots, which was mm -hmm. our our fault because we're like, yo, we got a tequila sponsor. They got a hookup for y'all, man. They the discount five dollar shots. They took it as yeah. motherfucker buy me some shots. So people start walking up, and I'm just like, okay, I'm in the middle of a joke, but thank you. Yeah. And then I start getting a little aggravated when they're like, take the shot. Take yeah. the shot, hombre. Hey, the, the shot. Just to give y'all some reference, Chingo started with the cup when he went, went on stage. There was like five shots One afterwards. Shot. Like, they were just on stage. It was like, what the I got fuck? A, me, personally, I got a, I got a two-drink limit on stage. <laughs> no, I, like, I sipped like very too. little. Like. Yeah. Like, I can't imagine how I would feel right now if there was also alcohol involved. Yeah, it's no fun being up there drunk. We're not like, like rock stars, We're not, you know, you know, like how it's another difference between the music industry and, and, and comedy, right? Like, like those dudes perform drunk and high off their mind all the time. But when you're doing comedy and it's just you there and there's no band and if you fall out, there ain't nobody yeah. that, 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 that can you get in your head, step yeah. in. Like, it, it's just you and you got people trying to talk to you sometimes and you got to be sharp enough then, to yeah. to respond it's really a, it's a you, it's a different vibe you the catch green, yeah you catch one guy looking at his watch and then one lady going to the restroom you're like am i losing them <laughs> this guy looks bored it's like but i'm not a mind reader okay stick to the script stick to the script it's like take the shot god damn it are y'all gonna bully me shot. all night yeah you're trying, <laughs> you're trying to get drunk over here bro, bro. i gotta <laughs> talk i gotta talk for an hour no, I, I got bullied this morning when i had to uh, call the wife of your and check in and be like, hey, we're on our way. Why? Well, what's going on? And, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why you ain't asked more questions? I'm like, hey, look, you the, uh, 
you know, uh, it, we're, we're doing a lot. It really is. It, 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 it's tough to 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 do both. Even me, when I go and do my which shows, which are you know on a much smaller scale than what 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 you do as as a headliner, you know, even I feel like man, it, it really would help if someone else was here. Mm-hmm. You know, just little things, make, making sure the merch is set up, ca- ca- counting the counting the room and whatever. And and yes, you can. Those are things you can do yourself, but it takes away from you getting your mind right before the show. Yeah. Like it, it affects everything. Yeah, and then you know, I suggested. Uh, I suggest. I was like, well, Juan said he could. He already has a lot of responsibilities. I was like, but Juan said he wanted to pick up, do that extra detail that we didn't specifically a thing. And she's just like, no, 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 no. You, you know what I'm saying? He's already has a lot on his plate. You know what I mean? She, she defended Juan quick. Mm-hmm. He's already hosting and he's already doing a lot. I'm you leave it. Juan alone. I was I'm like, about it. I was like, Juan's a machine. Y'all don't even you know understand. What I'm saying? Juan get a couple C fours in him. Juan's wired I was different. Say too, like, shout out to fucking your Thea fucking coming and saving you, right? It was your cousin. My cousin. Your cousin. My cousin. cousin. The came nurturing out cousin. And say. Hobby. <laughs> yeah, she. Because dude, the merch line was getting intense, and everybody was wanting a piece of hobby. Yeah, shirts and I, I was low on sizes, and, and I had them all thrown everywhere from the other nights. And she came in, she started folding shirts, and she. Yeah, dude. Hobby was how come the story beforehand, like how he was, uh, how he one one time in a in a different place. He got stuck for a moment because he was just getting crowded and stuff. Oh, the lady, edibles, <laughs> edibles. Yeah, some lady came out of nowhere and saved him. She and appeared. She, he told us that just before the show. Then we go down to go do merch at the end. And, and the it started to happen again. And the lady appeared. And I didn't know who she was at first. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Like, it just freaked me out because he just told us a story. And the lady appeared. I was it's like, damn, dude. Man. He just has fucking angels coming Guardian out Guardian angels, baby. They show up, man. Yeah, she was oh, like, but, but that, that's my cousin. That's yeah. my that's my mother hidden cousin, bro. She's, she's the one that, she's always just been looking out for us since we were kids, yeah. man. And she's like, how come, how come you don't have no one out here helping? It's, like, it's Corpus, you know. It's my hometown. So, yeah. Oh, that's another thing, guys. Anybody watching this, March 10th, Javi's got a special coming up, man. Blast that no, shit major. out, dog. Not for everybody, but it might be for you. Yeah. yeah, Javi doesn't brag enough, but y'all got to understand, Javi's repping Corpus like crazy. Mm. Like, Javi's been about Corpus, always is about Corpus. And he's good. Everything on that special is Corpus. Like, everybody helping, the production, everything, yeah. the sound, Dust, Dusty everything. made the, the jingle, the music? Dusty did the music everything. for me, man. It was uh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I mean... And he turned it around like quickly, man. Like I, I, I dragged my feet on hitting him up, and I was all like, "Hey, man! Like, like uh, the the guy that did the production, because I know Dusty, but I don't know him, you know, like like how how you know him or anything like that." And so, so this guy was like, "Well, let me ask him if he would consider doing the music for it, or whatever." And, and I was like, "Man, if he's got the time, I know, yeah. you know, he he's busy. That dude's just always doing something." And he and I was like, "Man, I really just want something, you know, that's." catchy it's fun perfect. upbeat it's this is what i'm into yep. and and he's like something like this and i'm like yeah something like that will work and, and he's like that that then yeah that it's just, perfect that no he's ex- he's very excited because he he brought it up last night he yeah. mentioned he's like oh dude hey you know i did uh, some music for javi bro yeah i was like oh yeah i was like i actually didn't even know that was you and i was like I was like, bro, your special is so great. I was like, even the music I like. Because yeah. sometimes music could be cheesy. Like, you'll see something on Netflix or a DVD yeah. from a comedian. It's like, eh, you could tell. Even like a Cat Williams, bro. Mm-hmm. There's like certain Cat Williams DVDs where it's like, all right. The production company dropped the ball. A lot of them. On the menu screen where like the beats looping. I was like, what is this? Yeah. And, and that's one thing I'm proud of <clears throat> on, on the special. You, you know, uh, even though it's on, on YouTube, when, when I started the project, you know, I, I was swinging for, like, let's make this as if we're trying to get it on, on a streaming service. You know, I was thinking, oh, maybe Amazon Amazon Prime or, you know, one, one of the, maybe not the big ones. I mean, Netflix and Hulu and all that shit. If you ain't already, if you ain't already blowing up, they ain't really going to talk to you too much. Right. You know, that's just the way, way it is. But uh, there's other streaming services that put on, but you still have to have a certain level of, of production quality. So when, when I, when I signed up with Tuxedo Goose, uh, the the production company i was like this is this is let's shoot it as if it's going on here not as if it's going to be a youtube yeah. if it ends up on youtube that's fine but at least we're a couple no- notches up above where uh where the production value on a lot of youtube specials and i know 
you know, if a, if a comic puts a, a special on YouTube, we're, we're all dealing within our, our means, right? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. maybe you only had a thousand dollars. So you get, guess what? You get one dude, mm-hmm. one angle yeah. with a camera and that's all you got. You that, got, you got one real, one short. Yeah. yeah. That's, you know, that, <laughs> hey, that's all you got better than nothing. But, Hope it goes viral, brother. But I'm a big believer in, in, in do the most you can with, 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 with what you got, you know? And, uh, <clears throat> and with film, uh, the thing I find, find interesting is there are little tricks where you can just, without any extra money just make it up to production value right just mm-hmm. just, just a, a, a different Those light a different you know have a couple different angles a you know versus a just, filter a right just after a little things things that make it like man did, did they have a budget on this like this looks nice yeah, yeah, yeah. you know uh and and that's what that's what we went for man so i'm i'm up to the the music the skit i mean i could have done we talked about it i could have done the standard you know Oh, he's walking through the city and walks into the club. Yeah, follow, yeah, yeah. Camera follow him onto the stage yeah. or whatever. But I was like, you know, I, I love the old school comedy specials. You did it with with, with, with your Netflix, mm-hmm. you know, where there used to be a little skit. Mm-hmm. I'm for just, just something. Yeah. It doesn't have to be the most hilarious thing, but it's just a, a little, you know, little palate cleanser. Like, oh, this is this person's brand of humor. This is about what I'm about to, to see before they even start telling jokes on stage you know mm-hmm. and this is something this is something this is why it's like hobby reps for corpus because everything in that thing it's like a little corpus masterpiece honestly yeah shot it shot it here the, the, the music's from here it's the announcers from here amazing. and it's good yeah. it's one thing it's to be good. like yo i read my city i read my city it's like yeah it's but you good. probably ain't got oh yeah yeah i say that <laughs> like, yeah this is for if you it ain't it ain't corpus it ain't like my first album right like mm-hmm. my straight out of corpus you know, it was a, I was still doing a lot of local. There's, there's no local material on there. I think, wow. you know, I think I make maybe one local reference in, in the whole thing, and it's not local to the point where, if you hear it, you won't get it. Like it's yeah. well, well, on March 10th, they're gonna see the reels and the the, the special. Yeah, the reels are gonna start rolling out in a couple of weeks here. Right? Perfectly. Yeah, yeah. Juan, Juan's putting me on on the social media game yeah. give yeah, me your yeah, crash I'm course help, i'm helping the and, way i can man so you let me know yeah for there's, sure. a, there's a lot to me, unpack whatever. there you know uh yeah man so so you got some recording done last night oh uh, man the- I, I honestly just um i just laid down like a mumble track like an idea because uh-huh. i was like super out of it bro I, I figured uh like like not only that but like this morning i was like coughing up a little congestion and stuff yeah and that doesn't help when it's like you're tired Probably dehydrated. Yeah. My wife's like, you don't drink enough water. Probably a little dehydrated, tired, got beat up in class, did two shows, got bullied by the crowd. Drink, take your shot. <laughs> um, and then at that point, bro, I, you know. But hey, the youngsters, they had just woke up like six in the afternoon. Uh-huh. So they're, <laughs> they're, they're making blunts. And I'm like, can I get a, can I get a picture with you, bro? I'm like, oh, he ain't got his shirt on. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, it's like a scene. I'm like, why does this dude ain't got no shirt yeah, on? Yeah, hey, he's like, far roll his blunt. That ah, shirt came off and it's freestyle rapping. And it was literally like a time portal. I was like, this was me and my friends 15 years ago. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, sleep. What is that? It's so funny when, when life imitates art and vice versa, right? You know. That's literally what it is. Uh, tour days, you got some tour days, brother? Yeah, man. Uh, so actually, uh, I'm going to be in Corpus one more week. Uh, I'm going to do Valentine's weekend here. I'm going to do uh, the 11th in the downtown location uh, at Mesquite Street. So so the the room where I really kind of, you know, really started to develop at. Uh, so it's a nice intimate room, only like 50, 60 seats in there. And perfect. And then, Super, especially for yeah, Valentine's Day yeah, night. It's perfect. So it's Saturday, but on Valentine's Day, right, uh, which is I'm going to do the room that we did this weekend. So okay. so try, try, uh, that's on a t- on Tuesday. Valentine's is on a Tuesday this year. So for the some people, you know, no, it doesn't count if it's not on Valentine's Day. Mm. You know, yeah, then then you come on come on Tuesday. Okay, you know, well, perfect. But but if you're like if you're like, hey, it's just a day on the on the calendar. We, we Saturday's just as good as Tuesday. Let's go out. Well, yeah. Sometimes you want to avoid yeah. like that weekend dinner rush to like that like too, people that man. couples that go out. Every restaurant's gonna be packed, man. Yeah. You, you and know. some of y'all thinking if y'all came to the shows, y'all like we saw Javi. It's like no, Javi has fucking time for it at days, and he only saw like what. 20 minutes? You saw 20 minutes. 20, saw 20 and they minutes. and the crowds this weekend, by the way, yeah, y'all saw 20 minutes new. Yeah, yeah. Uh like like brand 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 new. And uh and I would I heard that from several people people that come out, you know, they come out a lot. 
they come out to see me a lot. They, they, they come out every year to see you. So there's lots of, so I'm always, that's always in the back of my head. Like, Hey, a lot of these people were here last year. A lot of these, and we think you were just here in May. So not even a full, mm, okay. full year. Mm -hmm. So I made, I made it a point, you know, to let me give them something fresh. And, and one of, uh, my big supporters here, uh, the, the people from uh, Julio's Easy Stop, the couple, uh, Randy oh, yeah. and Roxanne, they came out uh, and they come to all my shows. Like nice. every single, they're just one of the one they know of those supporters. They, they come mm, they and they, talent. what do you need? They sponsored my special. Uh, they sponsored the venue for the special. Uh, and uh, Great. And and they were like, man, it was it was all new tonight, Javi. Like all new. And I was like, yeah, you know, they, you know, I love it when they when they recognize mm -hmm. that. They're like, yeah, we hadn't heard any of that stuff. Yep. So yeah, if you come out next week, you know, I try to, I, you know, I'm I'm a writer, you, you know, you know that. I, I mean, and uh, so yeah, we got some scripts in the vault. Y'all don't even know, you know. And, <laughs> and so it's real easy for me that I, I I like to write content for that show. You know, it's a Valentine's show, so I'm gonna come out with some. You know, five ten minutes of of Valentine's material that I won't probably won't use again until next Valentine's, or or maybe if mm -hmm. I like some bit really good, you know, I'll, I'll use it up again. You know, but for sure. Well, hell yeah, man! I'm excited for that. Um, we yeah. just added some some dates, so okay. the my tour dates are coming together. Oh, Make no, sure. I wasn't done oh, my, my <laughs> fault, bro. Did I cut you off. <laughs> wait, 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 okay, let me spit my these fault, real quick. My fault. No, no, I started talking about Corpus too. Uh, so, so that's Corpus, and then uh, I'm going to be in Austin on April 8th at East Austin Comedy Club. Uh, that's going to be a Thursday night, uh, and then um, and then on May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. I'm doing my Gordito de Mayo hey. at uh, Upstage Comedy Club in San Antonio, Texas, uh, off of uh, WW White over that area. Nice uh, lounge. Only seats about 100 people. You know, I, I do my numbers. Uh, but uh, those tickets are up already, upstagecomedy.net, or if you just go to my link tree. Hey, that was for the IRS. That's yeah. why he said that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, y'all can, can cash, y can cash <laughs> at me for the tickets if y'all want. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just just, just put barbecue plate on there. You know. You can do me a favor. If, if anybody knows, it's going to be small Donations, and intimate. Nothing small, crazy. Donations. Under the radar. <laughs> My my bad, bro. I cut no, you out. Did you? No, get, no worries. Yeah. That was he was like yeah. He's like you thought all I had was Valentine's you know Day, bro. Saying? I you got all the way to you Gordito know. de Mayo. You know you talking to Chico? You know what I'm saying we're working on El Paso for June. We're Come gonna, on now. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about pending. No, uh, que caiga el cash app, carnal. Yo, we're headed to Pearsall, Texas, bro. I've never done comedy in Pearsall. That's February 17th. Uh, that's like around the corner. Mark your calendars. Naples, Florida, Southwest Florida, March. 5th, Odessa, Texas, March 11th at the Actor Theater. Uh, I think we're working on College Station for like March 17th and 18th. Okay, now these, I'm working with a promoter in Cali. Super excited. Fresno, March 23rd. Merced, March 24th. Visalia, March 25th. El Paso, April 6th through the 8th. And then uh, for all the rest of the dates, man, hit up my website. You know, I'm coming to Brownsville with Raymond Orta, Alamo, Texas with Raymond. So just hit up the website and you can see where we're going to do Chingo de Mayo this year but uh and for sure man shout out to all the sponsors everybody showing love man keeping us keeping us going so uh you know i'm like nascar right now bro you know this right saying? here man this one of the sponsors you know they do cattle bro they do grass-fed beef oh, you know those, what i'm saying bro. yeah oh, so i'm actually like a customer too you know what I'm so I, I bought some eggs from them even i brought uh we're gonna do youtube videos together yeah. bro like like chingo Breen, like the uh the thumbnail is gonna be like Chingo drinks raw goat's milk. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, Chingo Bling eats uh, beef heart. Uh -huh. I'm finna eat heart, raw goat's milk. He's about turning to liver king is what he's talking well, about. I'm, I'm about to be I'm, YouTube. <laughs> Come on. But like cook, cooked beef heart or like? Well, I, th I think we're going to have to cook it because he's like, people I know eat it raw. And I'm like. I, I've eaten it cooked. I mean, it's pretty good. How how you how you cook that? Well, um, my grandma used to make it like on a guisada. The, uh, like the in heart? A, uh, yeah. Like in a, a crock pot? Yeah, like in a great, yeah. Like, well, like on the stove, like low simmer. Dude, it's super tender, bro. I used to love it. I was the only one. I, when I was in high school, when I started being able to like work and drive, like I would go, like my mom was like, oh, I don't know how to cook it. Like, right, it's very, it's, a, it's a different kind of kind of meat or whatever. So I'd go to the store and, and, and get me a, a package of corazón and take no it over to my shit. grandma. And she'd call me a couple hours later. Okay, it's ready. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought I was doing something crazy. Javi's like, no, no, no. That's that's called Sundays uh, yeah, at my you know house. What, <clears throat> what other kind of stuff? Um, I forget what all we're gonna do with them, but uh, you know, 
really excited, man, because it's like, you know, these days, bro. You mm -hmm. know, you tr you gotta get your family. But something that's wild, man. So you got the meat, you, you got the the meat company, and you, and you got the like the manscape, bro. Manscape, you know, get you, you know, some meat and get you something for your meat. You know, you know? tequila, get you some tequila. Let's go. Triple dip and shit. This is el quadruple dip, carnal. <laughs> branded, puro branded content. Yo, man, thank you so much, bro, for uh, accommodating us and allowing us to use uh, Gordito Studios. Yeah, man. Thank y'all for for. Uh, watching the podcast yeah, man. We, we didn't want to go a week without without yeah you know, you know I, I ain't gonna lie bro like i woke up this morning i was like i just want to go straight home hey. and uh i was like am i really gonna like call javi and wake him up get him going and because he javi offered he's like hey bro i gotta set up like we can't fall off and miss and then we'll have you come back to houston and we'll knock yeah, out i saw more. someone comment you know this is a great way to start my monday and i i love hearing stuff like that man like did y'all look forward to it because i know there's podcasts i love podcasts too so i know there's podcasts that i look i wake up monday morning and if it's not uploaded yet you get yeah, a little disappointed yeah. like oh man i, I was Those looking forward to listen to it on the way to work or whatever yeah. you know you got your oh, routine. The treadmill it's not uh, yeah, refreshing listen, yeah you know what i'm saying so 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 i i, I like to stay on top well if you're hobby you're out there doing disc golf and shout yeah. out to you guys, uh, Corpitos came out, and a few other people came out this weekend from the podcast. Oh, yeah, like, Corpitos, Trompitos, RQT. We had some people from San Antonio uh, drive yeah, dance. Everybody, like, yeah, people were driving in to come see the show. Yeah. I was like, damn, yeah. dude, that's what's Good up. show, man. And then when you did Bass Drop, you had some people that heard about yeah, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, sh shout out uh, over there to uh, Jerry Carillo. Uh, came out. He said he had listened to the What Did He Said podcast. Yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah, so shout out to you guys. You guys doing that for us. Like we appreciate that. That all the support, following us on social medias, that helps everything. It's great, man. Thank yeah. you so much. You know what I'm saying? Like, comment, subscribe, share. All those, all so all those dates chingles. So I gotta check with my soulmate and see if I get free for that, bro. But <laughs> I'm gonna you know, let you know, dog. Let yeah, yeah. you know, dog. We're we're gonna know. We're gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, hey Juan, uh, you ready to go? Uh, we're gonna go hit Brownsville. He's gonna be like, hey dude, I gotta, I gotta check, check with, with uh, soulmate, I gotta check with Catherine or whatever her name is. <laughs> Catherine. <laughs> Wait, I don't even know her name. He's like. Dude, she's my soulmate. Got, I just know her my soulmate. Like, dude, she's in my phone as soulmate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. He's like, dude, the hospital's got her working long hours, bro. I can't. I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? dude you don't remember my soulmate in Corpus? Bro, bro. I I couldn't see her soulmate. shoes, bro. Like, was she wearing like some 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 hokas? Yeah, I think they were boots. Oh, they're boots. She they're was boots. she was all about Juan, and she that's why I be Juan. telling all the fellas, man, we gotta stay prayed up, bro. They be upon us, bro. You know all okay? the fellas out there, head on the swivel. Juan's the only single one now. Everyone else is is, is cuffed yeah. up. So so Juan's the only one free. You know, so, so you know what I'm saying. What Enjoy that. Freedom. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. She was all about Juan. She was, she was, she was like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know you. I never met you, but uh, she was like, I love me some Juan. And so he's like, we, what? So we, we, we both got done dirty. <laughs> what? So let's, <laughs> so let's do something dirty. You therefore, know? therefore. <laughs> yeah, yo, thank you guys so much for lo for listening and tuning in. Uh, live from Gordito Studio. What was it called? Universal. Universal. My Studios. fault. Universal my Studios. fault. Studios. I thought it was Gordito uh, de Mayo Studio. Universal Studios. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Hey, his shirts come with that too on the back. Hey, on the back, it says Universal saying? Studios. Dog. Oh. Hell yeah. A little trick I learned from Mr. Bling here. You know, <laughs> branding, branding. I learned. Branding I'm a slow learner, but I learned. Qua hey, quadruple dip, carnal. Double dip, triple dip. And when you get to my level, it's <laughs> All kinds of good. All right. But hey, we're going to hit the road. Y'all have an amazing week, and we'll see you next time. Sass.